Hey guys, what's going on? Drax here, back again, starting off a new series here today. Uh, we are gonna start off another one called It Lurks Below. It Lurks Below is an action-oriented survival RPG in a random generated world. Fight through massive underground dungeons, customize your character with random items, and find out what evil lurks below. This game uh, is actually doing really well on Steam right now. Uh, very positive in its reviews, and release date was on April 25th. I'm I'm about five days late, but uh, I figured I would jump on the bandwagon and kind of check it out and see what we get into. So let's go ahead, create a new character, uh, hairstyle. Give me something cool. I want that. Yeah, that that like up uh, that one right there. I think the hair color is good. Um, I I want the the one eye. There there, there we go. That's cool. Uh, skin colors, I'm pale, so I'm going to go with something somewhat pale. Accessories, oh, I kind of like that beard. Yeah, that's cool. Chest, uh, I'm not sure what the differences there are. And character class, plays with life and death in a creative and malicious way. Necromancer, uh, lurk deep in the shadows and surprise your enemies with vengeance. Rogue, uh, the elements are at your command to annihilate your enemies. Wizard. Bard, music and songs will enhance your stats and melt your enemies. Cleric, divine healing in your for yourself and retribution for your enemies. Enchanter taps into the enemy's mind to alter their rely, uh, reality. I'm going to go for a rogue. Um, I don't normally do rogues in my games, but I figured it would be something interesting to check out. So uh, I'm going to do a standard version of the game. Nothing, uh, nothing real fancy. Oh, that was a little on the loud side. Um, let me just turn that down ever so slightly here. Uh, speakers. There we go. Back to that. And just down kind of like that. Okay. So we have a new quest. Starting off right. Vile demons abound in these dark woods. You must defend yourself. Pick up two sticks from the ground. Right click and create a wand from the crafting menu. All right, so we need to pick up sticks from the ground. There's a stick. I got a stick. I think I got, uh, yeah, it was just one stick, but we got another stick here. All right, now we need to craft a wand. So show magical objects. Wand of magic sparks. All right, let's see what that does. That's a magic wand. Holy cow. That's pretty cool for a magic wand. Quest complete. Uh, now we want to gather some food and eat it. And extract some seeds by using E, regain energy, Z. Uh, so I can hit four and then eat. Um, let's see. Just uh, right mouse button to eat it. Yeah, eat some food. And then we can extract some seeds from different stuff. I don't know what there is to extract seeds from. Give me that. Give me those sticks. I like sticks. All right, can we extract seeds from this tough grass? We sure can't. All right, so we will have to, there we go. That was some lettuce, I think. Yeah, cabbage. Extracted seeds and regain energy, press Z. Quest completed. Regain our energy and it, oh yeah, check that out. Energy right there, 100%. Uh, reward hoe and create a simple pickaxe and an ax. So if I press P, we can show tools. Uh, I need more rocks, but I can get a pickaxe. Let's go ahead and get one of those. I'm going to go back over towards this way because I've seen some stone, and it looks like there's some other minerals over here too. So let's just go ahead and start digging down so we can get some stone. And that way we can uh, gather enough for an axe. Let's see. Uh, I need sticks, rock, and tough grass. We're going to need a lot more of a lot of different things, apparently. But we'll grab what we can of stone. Just to kind of get ourselves situated here. Just keep digging. Just keep digging. Just keep digging, digging, digging. This game, to me, um, I had some people disagree with me when I first looked at it. Uh, but it's got a very... Oh, is this not actual stone? Oh, whoops. Yeah. Jump. There we go. Uh, it's got a very Terraria-esque 
feel to it. And I really, I like that. I think that is actually really nice. Um, I was played a little bit of Terraria, but never was real big into it. Give me that. Okay. Just still looking for more stones. I think we picked up some, some tough grass. So I don't think we're too worried there. Oh yeah. A little bit more tough grass. Wheat. Very good. Let's come back up here. And just keep on collecting stuff until we got enough. Okay. So that should be enough of the rocks. We need more sticks and more tough grass. I don't know. This That's a weird thing. Okay, so now we can make an axe. Very good. And for that, we should be able to go ahead and chop down a tree. Chop, chop, chop. And just go ahead and pick up all of that wood. How cool. All right, quest completed. Click on the level up button. Uh, I'm going to do my hit points. I think hit points are a good thing to get into. Learning potion. Use into the number of slots. Uh, Quaff off the potion by pressing the key. All right, move the learning potion. All right, quest completed. And now we are learning things for three minutes. Uh, dig up some cobblestone, place a forge and a workbench. Um, I think I want to kind of dig in right here. I think this will be a decent spot to get started. Just uh, start digging here. Yeah. So he looks like he's about three blocks tall, which is good to know. And this, this iron is like tough. Uh, we're good on food, and it looks like we're decent on energy at the moment. Probably not super great, but we should be somewhat okay. I'm just going to kind of block myself in here. I don't want something coming up behind me and attacking me. So I wanted to, uh, to do that so I could make a nice little room. All right, so we need to make a forge and a workbench. Um, let's see, actually go to P, show all, uh, magical objects, recipes, fixtures. Uh, well, we could do a torch. Give me a torch. Um, blocks, runes, blueprints, apparatuses. Uh, so for the forge, we're gonna need six cobblestone. Can I go ahead and just throw a torch down? Very nice, all right. So we're gonna need a good chunk of cobblestone. So let me get some of that. There's an eyeball. You see the eyeball? Ugh, creepy. He's going around. Oh, I guess I can't shoot through brick. That kind of makes sense, duh. Can't shoot through cobblestone. Okay, so is this going to be enough? Give me that. Cobblestone, we need uh, five more, one. Just keep on digging out here. I like it. It's, this is like one of those, I just, it's kind of just soothing. But I'm sure it won't be soothing once whatever lurks below actually starts coming in. Yeah, there's zombies. Of course there's zombies. I'm scared of zombies, so why wouldn't there be zombies? All right, um, let's do number four. Um, trying to figure out... Oh, I guess I could just come right over here and do iron. All right, there we have iron. And then come back over to the workbench. I need more wood. So let's go ahead and dig our way out here. Okay. Not bad. I just want to put that back there. Chop this tree down. Shoot it! I shot it. <laughs> All right, bunch of wood over this way. Very good. There goes something down there. Dead. All right, let's close up that door because it's scary out there. Uh, workbench, handy workbench. All right, we've got that, your home base. 
Uh, create a dirt mound using a hoe and plant any seed in that mound. Um, well, I mean, I'll go back outside. It's kind of dark. I don't really want to go outside, but I'll do it if I have to. Okay, we'll grab number six. And we'll just have to do number seven to plant things. Okay. So keeping yourself at Evil Survival Plant Out plus green. Okay. I uh, just want to close close that back in. Uh, v. And what do we want to do? Quest completed. Um, picked crops last 25% longer before rotting. Learn to fertilize. 50% chance extra seed from crop. And crops last 25% longer in the world before rotting. Uh, there's also a veggie bowl. Mining is a copper pickaxe. Alchemy. I think we should probably do extra seeds from a crop. And uh, double the sack size of all crops. I think that sounds good. Let's go ahead and uh, level up again. Now we got to craft some iron armor and an improved one. Kill Commander Vile on the surface. Um, so we have a little bit of iron. Not enough. And the Wand of Magic Missile. Let's see. Put this one away. That one looks cool. I like it. So let's kind of keep going this way a little bit. Just to see if we can unlock some more iron. Uh, putting that there. And we'll throw another torch down here in a second. I think there's more iron on the surface. Okay. Hit number three. Uh, actually, number six, just like that. And open up this door. Whoa, dodge it. Dodge that one, too. Oh, yes. Oh, we got a health potion. That's kind of cool. All right, let's come back over this way because we should. Oh, yeah, there's some iron right there. I was going to say we need some iron. Uh, I do have another level up. Let's grab that and press our level up. I'm going to do a little bit more in vitality just because I think vitality is going to be very, very useful. You know, I'm, I'm a rogue. I probably should do a little bit more in the way of damage, but... Not too terribly worried. Let's go to nine and uh, F. No, E. No. How do you use it? Right click. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and fill up. Filling up sounds good. Like carrots. Carrots are good. All right. They're good for your eyesight since it's so dark here all the time. Okay. Bit more iron here. I like the the smelting mechanics. The smelting mechanics are actually pretty nice. All right, let's see. Number six. Yep, no more iron here. So we'll come back up this way. I think this is the way that we came. Yeah. So we'll we'll just come back over this way. Yeah, tons of iron there. Little guy stuck inside a hole. Oh. Another guy. Are you going to be able to jump that? Oh, yep. Okay, you're dead. And you're dead. Recharging. And another one of scrolls. It's a scroll of blessing. Interesting. All right, let's uh, dig out this spot. I think I'm going to... Just kind of block ourselves in here. Just so we we know that nothing's going to walk up behind us. That's smart, right? Nothing can get into us while we're digging this out. It's just a nice, safe environment for us to live. Not even to live. Just to be. Just a nice environment to be. You're looking at me like you can see me. I don't appreciate that. I don't appreciate that at all. All right, so there's a good amount of iron that we're going to need, but I'm not sure. I'm just going to gather this 
bit and then we'll go back, smelt it all up, and then come uh, come back and look for this Commander Vile, wherever he may be. Okay. Man, this little goblin thing or imp or whatever it is, he wants me. He wants me bad. And I don't appreciate it. Uh, survival rank increased? Very nice. Uh, let's up our survival rank. We got another point. Um, tool combines the axe and the hoe. I don't want to make the vegetables. I kind of want to make a copper pickaxe, but double the stack size. Yeah, 15% chance to mine an extra ore. Heck yeah. Definitely want that. Okay. So now we'll head back over here. And we can do a little bit of... Uh, Extra mining. Do I do I need to sleep? There. That'll get us back to our base. And I can uh, do some sleeping in our actual base here in just a bit. Give me diet. Little plants. Uh, looks like ripe cabbage. Very nice. All right. Let's grab some of that cabbage and make seeds out of it. Um, where's that hoe? There it is. Okay, number four. And we'll just kind of make as much here as we can. Oh, I still got, still got more? Heck yeah. Uh, how many more seeds do I have? I have two more seeds. So we'll go back to number nine and plant all that. So that'll be cabbage. Cabbage is good. All right, so let's sleep a little bit and we'll we'll recover some of that sanity or whatever you want to call it. Um, and then we can eat berries. You are full. All right, good. Uh, let's go ahead and put that up there. Put the wood up there. Tough grass. And I'm going to leave the cobblestone on my bar, actually. And then let's come right here. Grab all the iron armor that we have, or iron uh, that we have. And then we can grab boots. Must be standing near an anvil. Oh, all right. Apparatuses, anvil. Let's close that. Um, you're not actually going to fit anywhere in here. So I'm just going to widen this area here. And then anvil... There we go. Number six. Very good. All right. So that will give us armor of skull cap. Very good. Chest plate. And I need two other pieces. I need two other pieces, but we've made some iron armor. We can go out into the world now and try and kill this commander vile. Now, is there anything that kind of shows me where he would be? I don't think so, but we'll go to the left and see if he's off this direction. It just seems like he would be over near whatever this this area is. Oh, there he is. Get back. Back, I say. Back! Back, you fiend! Alright, you're dead. My goodness. So much death and destruction. Um, give me... Alright, I gotta, I gotta kill that eyeball. Alright, killed the eyeball. Let's uh let's close up our base here. Boom, boom, boom. Now there is something on the ground, but gimme diet. Number six, we can just put that back down. Alright, and so number eight we got was a projectile cold one. I level four, I level three. Uh so we can actually use that right over there. And we get a homestone. Alright, new recipe discovered. Homestone. Not uh, fittable in here, but we can dig out a little bit more. 
and I'm sure we can fit it in. Okay. Uh, so we want to place the homestone in the world, walk away, and use the recall button on the main panel. Sounds good enough. Um, 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 uh, gain five points to attack power for five minutes. Yeah. So number six. Boom. And then recall panel on the main. So that's this button right here. Boom. We're back to return... Okay, so if we're right next to it, we could teleport back to where we were. Very nice. General store. All right. I think that's where we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. And if you did, hit that like button, smash it even, and uh, we'll be back next time. Have a good one.